Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zhang Shaowen from China Mobile Software Technology. Today, I'll share some self-practices in China Mobile. China Mobile is a Chinese state-owned telecommunication corporation that provides mobile voice and multimedia service through its national wide mobile telecommunications network. It is the largest mobile te telecommunication corporation by market capitalization and also the world's largest mobile phone operator by total number of subscribers with over 902 million subscribers as June 20, 2018. Uh, here is what I share today. First, I'll introduce some application cases of self in China mobile service, and then some practices in block storage and object storage will be present. Um, China Mobile Cloud Computing Product System is called Big Cloud. It covers services of ICE, PaaS, and SaaS. The Big Cloud is currently responsible for China Mobile's private cloud, public cloud, performance management cloud, OA, and other platform. Up to now, the Big the Cloud product have provided IT service for more than 30 China Mobile's premature and professional companies, including business support, network management, and information management system. Besides, the product have been applied in government, finance, manufacturing, and transportation, and other industries. The red one <coughs> is BCSDS Cloud Storage uh, is a cloud, uh, storage solution of Big Cloud. It provides block storage and object storage based on Ceph. Uh, and uh, the file storage is based on GlassDRFS. <coughs> China Mobile is building a unified public service cloud platform, internal supporting the group's product cloudization to decrease cost and increase efficiency. External service government and corporate customers and internet customers. We use Ceph as a storage solution for China Mobile Public Cloud. Over 30 block storage clusters are running to provide cloud disk service for OpenStack. The total capacity of block storage has been over 40 PV. Besides, there are four object storage clusters providing object storage service. The total capacity of object storage has been over 15 PV. The four object storage clusters are deployed based on self multi site feature. The, there is one master zone group and three zone, slave, slave zone groups. Metadata is synced between these clusters. Apart from the public cloud, China Mobile also invests a lot of resources in the private cloud. China Mobile first level private cloud uses one level platform, two level management architecture through a private cloud management platform, multi site resource pools are unified managed. Under the plan of the group planning department and the network department, the platform realized the unified view access of the whole network resources and the access control of some provincial resources pools in 2017. In the China Mobile first level private cloud, the total capacity of block storage has been over 20 PB, and the capacity of uh, object storage has been over 70 PB. There are over 2,600 OSDs in one object storage cluster. Before 2016, China Mobile's object storage is based on a closed source solution, and the block storage is based on Sheepdog. In 
team, China Mobile chose Ceph as its object storage and block storage solution. We use AppD to support Nova, Infimino uh, blocks, and Cinder persistent block. RGW is used to provide object storage and support clones image backup. In addition to using Ceph in our production environment, we also contribute growth course to Ceph community. Up to now, there are over 200 commits have been merged into master branch, including bug fix, feature development, and so on. Uh, so next is the practice in block storage. This is the architecture overview of our block storage product. It's based on Ceph, supporting KVM, VMware, Zone, bare metal, uh, cabinets. It's what widely used in private cloud, R&D cloud, public cloud, BDR storage. The total capacity in production environment has been over 500 PB. Apart from the feature of self, we have some self-development characteristics, like iSCSI migration between self and Sheepdog, uh, disk error checking, and disk failure predict. We also have a storage management platform to deploy cluster and monitor the resource. It provides resource monitor, automated deployment, online upgrade, uh, upgrade alarm, alarm management, log management, disk change, performance analysis, cluster expansion, and other useful features for operation and maintenance engineer. Uh, at first, um, we didn't have this uh, management platform, and the monitoring and alarming of resources were all connected to the uh, company's dedicated monitoring platform. However, in the actual project, uh, we found that the customer's uh, demand for the management uh, platform is very urgent, and there are management requirements in the binding of some projects. In addition, the current self-operation and uh, uh, maintenance management requirements is still relatively high, uh, beyond the capabilities of the general enterprise. In this case, a good uh, management is really, really useful. Um, by the way, uh, the new release the dashboard of self uh, is really, really cool. Uh, there are uh, different hardware can provide different performance. Uh, we have three typical hardware configuration to meet different users' requirements. The first one is the capacity type. It uses SSD as OSD journal, and we can use two SATA SSD or just one PCIe SSD to hold journal data. The capacity type has higher capacity and lower cost, and is used to hold code data. The second one is the balance type. It also uses SSD to hold journal data. Besides, it uses bcache to catch data to improve read performance. The balance type is high cost effective and is used as data tiering to hold warm data. The last one is the performance type. It doesn't use SGD anymore. Instead, it consists of all SSD. We can also add PCIe SSDs to hold journal data for further improving writer performance. The performance type has higher performance and uh, best, uh, better user experience. Uh, um, how the data is data that uh, needs to be accessed frequently. For this data, uh, we can put it on high-speed flash so the latency of access is low. Cold data is data that is accessed less frequently by users. It is usually stored on lower performance mean and less expensive storage like HDD. How to achieve higher performance with lower cost is worth thinking. Uh, 
we think using catch is one of the solutions. The catch is meant to improve the efficiency of data access and is a trade-off between cost and performance. There are currently two main ways to use SSD itself, catch theory and OSD catch. Uh, at present, the mechanism of catch theory is still immature, and the strategy is more complicated. Uh, the I.O. path is longer. In some I.O. scenarios, using catch theory may even cause performance deprecated. So we choose a way to speed up the block device with OSD catch. In the Linux kernel uh, block layer, there are four main mature solutions to speed up the HDD with the SSD. Uh, they are flash catch, uh, enhanced IO, DM catch, and B catch. After completion of these uh, four scenarios, we choose B catch as our uh, caching solution. Uh, among these open source solutions, the first three catch block index thing algorithm are similar. They are based on uh, the hash index. The biggest difference between B cache and the other is that it uses a B plus, B plus G as the index, and the hit rate will be greatly improved. At the same time, it takes into account some of the characteristics of the SSD itself in the architecture design. While maximum the performance of the SSD, it also protects the life of the SSD. Um, below is the effect of flash catch and B cache. Uh, with the GC mechanism, the performance of B cache won't decrease too much as test time goes on. Besides, if we set the water level higher, we can also have more stable performance. Uh, here is the typical use cases of RPD in our production environment. It's mainly used as a backend of OpenStack cluster supplying service for Cinder, Glance, Nova, and so on. Besides, using libRPD directly to connect to self cluster, we also provide the iSCSI solution for self-RPD. It supports VMware zone and VMeter server through iSCSI protocol. Next is the practice in object storage. Uh, object storage is a com computer data storage architecture that manages data as objects. It allows retention of massive amounts of unstructured data, like photos, radios, videos, and so on. Our object storage is also based on self. Below is the architecture uh, overview of the object storage product. It's compatible with S3 and uh, Swift, support uh, lifecycle versioning, data theory, compression, multi-site, and uh, some other features. Same as block storage, object storage also has a storage management platform for operation and uh, maintenance engineer. In fact, the management platform of block storage is the same as uh, object storage. We use a unified management platform to simplify development and improve product standardization. Uh, the typical deploy deployment architecture of object storage is as below. The, the front end uses this load balancing and uh, the later mounts multiple RGW nodes. The RGW node is connected to the backend OSD node and the monitor node through the public network. And the OSD nodes are connected using a cluster network for distributing the uh, replica replicas. The public and clusters are both uh, uh, 10, 10G <laughs> network in our production environment. Uh, we use Keep Live and Elvis as our load balancing solution. Sometimes we also uh, use hardware load balancing, like uh, F5, if users need high performance. Besides, the hard 
where load balancer has better performance and some useful features such as an SSL acceleration, TCP optimization, anti-DDoS, and so on. Uh, erasure code is a data protection method that divides data into segments, expands curves, and stores them in different locations, such as disk storage nodes or other geography. Copy storage and erasure code are two common data redundancy technologies in the storage field. The erasure code has a higher disk utilization than the copy storage. Self has supported erasure curves very early. We, have, we can have erasure pool used for cold data and the replica pool for hot data. In order to achieve the purpose of data tiering, we developed the automatic migration between hot data and cold data based on the storage class function of the community. This feature allows data to be migrated across uh, different pools. Uh, here is an application of object storage in public cloud. Uh, it has four object storage clusters providing pro object storage service for users. These clusters are located in Beijing. Uh, there are two, and uh, Guangzhou and uh, Changsha. Metadata is synced between these clusters. Modification on metadata are all sent to the master and then synced to slaves. Um, there, there are one master zone group and three slave zone groups in the public cloud. And, um, <coughs> the metadata are synced by faster fiber. We separated the Redis gateway for the purpose of not affecting the user if service and the metadata sync. If not, the latency of metadata sync increases obviously when user requests come fast. When modifying metadata frequently, you can see high pressure on the syncing Redux gateway of master zone group. So we use multiple Redux gateways for syncing in master zone group. As the number of zone group increases, the pressure on master zone group will also increase obviously. Maybe there is something to be improved in metadata syncing mechanism. Uh, this is a typical application scenarios of uh, object storage in our projects. Uh, the first is backup. Many used to backup uh, virtual mechanism images, database instances. The second is file share, including pictures, videos, and so on. CDN is usually used in this scenarios. The third is big data analysis. analysis. Big data analysis must first solve the problem of data storage. Many enterprises, especially traditional industry, only save data but don't know how to use it. Previous storage architecture were not friendly to ex uh, external access. Big data analysis also needs to solve data access problem. Object storage can support big data system well, such as public Near analysis, internet financial risk control, BI reporting, and 3D construction. The last is a static, a static website hosting, such as corporate websites. Static websites can be hosted directly in the object storage when a small <coughs> scale of website needs to be up, updated. Users can update the file to the corresponding directory of the object storage. Okay, that's all. Thank you.